Hey, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Michael. I'm your host here on Overland Bound. We want you to outfit and explore because adventure is necessary. We got hundreds of videos of rig walkarounds, how to's, great inspirational trips, all kinds of things. So check out those videos. Today, we are talking about brand new seats in your vehicle. Now, Corey and I have been riding around for over a decade on torn up leather seats in my old FJ80 Land Cruiser. We got metal poking us and all kinds of things, but you guys know the deal. It's expensive to take it down to an upholstery shop and say, hey, reupholster my seats. We are talking about reupholstery, not seat covers. Been there, done that. We already did that. We want brand new seats. If you guys can take your business to a local upholstery shop, please do that and, and support local business. Me, in my case, I needed to save a couple of bucks. So I bought the leather for $350 and I'm gonna do the project myself. I've already done my research. I'm not gonna stand up here and tell you guys that it's easy. I'm not gonna cut together a little montage, three minutes, <laughs> we're done. No, it's a lot of work. Clean out your garage because it's about to come, become an upholstery shop for a few days. But after this video, you guys will have the right approach, the right mindset, set you up for success. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a pro tip that you absolutely need to follow at the end of this video. I'm kidding, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you right now. Take it down to a detail shop or give yourself a day to detail the interior of your vehicle after you have the seats removed. You're gonna pull everything apart anyway, take off the trim and detail out the interior of your vehicle because you don't wanna put those brand new seats in an old crusty interior. Me, I supported a local detail shop, brought the rig down there yesterday. I'm about to get it back and we're gonna see what kind of a job they did. Then we're gonna get right into covering these seats. All right, let's get right to it. fond memories of these seats. I put half these rips in here, but this is gonna be a major upgrade. So, all right, let's take the seat apart. As you pull things apart, really the thing to be careful with is the old plastic. There are trim pieces that you have to be very careful with. Make sure you know where the tabs are so that you can remove them correctly. You're also gonna need side pliers to cut the old hog rings so you can remove the leather step by step. Most seats are similar. One of the first major steps after taking off the trim is gonna to be to remove the back from the seat itself. We got the back off the seat. Let me show you a couple of tools you're gonna to need. Go ahead and get a trim tool. This comes in handy multiple different, uh, multiple different ways, but it'll keep you from uh, damaging um, fasteners. Get this. Also, a pair of needle nose pliers, super handy for getting the second half of the hog ring pliers once you, once you snap the pliers, the hog ring off. You're gonna want a uh, flat type motivator for various trim pieces and get the proper sockets for your seat. Now, a good pair of side cutters for the hog rings is essential because you're gonna be removing all of those hog rings. And a pro tip, while you're taking it apart, Use your phone to snap reference photos because it's gonna go back together in exactly the opposite order and there's too many things to remember. So take reference photos as you're pulling your seat apart. That way you're sure that it goes back together properly. I'm gonna pull um, this cover off now. I think that's it. And I'm then pull this we'll have some words now. before I start putting the other upholstery we'll back on. Some, some more pro tips or amateur it. tips, whatever the case may be. All right, let's cover some things. One, you guys probably saw me uh, looking like I was operating. When you clip your hog rings, it's gonna basically cut them in two. You wanna make sure you get all of the hog rings, both halves, out of the foam. You don't want that coming out later. You step on this, it's gonna be worse than your kid's Legos. It's a bad day. So I just have this little thing and I'm collecting all my hog rings here instead of having them scattered about. Another thing. All of the hardware in the old cover, you will use again. You gotta keep it all. So, you know, no matter what kind of vehicle you have, all this stuff 
like these straps for, for strapping down the cover, these metal rods um, that go in these sleeves. That's what the hog rings attach to and you are going to be reusing all of it. So, um, save all of these things here. Okay, now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of foam repair. Before we put the um, new cover on, we're gonna look at any areas, this actually looks pretty good, but we're gonna look at any areas where the foam is smashed down. Um, or where it's ripped, and we're gonna replace it with new foam. To do that, you're gonna use a combination of some spray adhesive, and you're gonna use um, contact cement permanent bond. But this spray adhesive is gonna be good to stick the foam onto the old foam uh, as needed, and it's fast. Now, what I would do this old seat cover has foam in it. You're just gonna cut it out. Let's take the old foam from the old seat cover and, and just glue it, glue it down. The new seat cover has foam in it, but it's not as, as thick as the factory foam. So with the factory foam glued onto the old foam, plus the foam from the new seat cover, you're gonna have enough padding there and it's gonna compensate for the foam that has been smashed down over the years and you'll have a nice fluffy seat. All right, boom, just like that. Got some more padding. Um, this uh, very thin foam has some backing on it um, on both sides, just to make it a little bit more durable on the sides. And uh, there, that's good enough to go. Covered up, uh, repaired an area down here where the metal was showing, but I did that pretty fast, right? I'm not, it, it, it is not super critical because we're gonna have that big cover over the top of it. So there it is. Now let's put the new seat on. Hey guys, now this video is brought to you by us. <laughs> you guys know we want you to get out there and outfit and explore. And so we are building the world's greatest adventure travel app. It's called Overland Bound One on iOS and Android. Our background, our DNA is overlanding. So it's the tools that you guys need, which include a connection with the community so that they will help you when adventure does happen. All the trips, the places, the destinations that you see on this channel, they're right in the app. And it's got a trip and event planner built in. All three of those things, all in one single app. So cool. So go and get it, Overland Bound 1, iOS and Android. Now, let's get right back to it. go to put the old the, the new cover on the best way to align the cover is to find one of these rods for the hog rings that is going to have a very obvious rod on the foam line them up clip them on and then you have a reference position and you can start pulling the new cover over the foam in the proper location. You don't want to be missing All right, hog rings, they're a pain in the butt, but you'll get the hang of it. You have to get a pair of hog ring pliers and hog ring staples, they're very specialized. And then the way this works is those wires that I was talking about, the foam has a wire and then the seat back has a wire. You clamp them both and then pinch this and it creates a ring and then will secure both. I'm able to find the wire in the seat back, wrap it around, wrap it around there, and then I can find the wire in the foam. And with this particular pair of hog ring pliers, I'm able to push down all the way in where I need to and get the proper angle, boom. Now that's in there. You can get different firmness foam. This is all medium, medium firmness foam. But now we got our foam in a good, uh, in good working order. 
Now it's time to put on the new leather. Let's do it. All right, boom, done. I'm satisfied with that. That's great. Um, now, all the little components that go back on the sink, you guys, just take them into the kitchen sink, wash them with soap and water like dishes. Uh, incredibly easy. You guys can't put your seat back together until you wash your seat frame. Get that nice and clean. There are lots of different ways to do it. It's going to be all caked with gunk, especially if you got a 25-year-old rig. Um, I recommend brake cleaner. Uh, it, it, will, it will clean and wash and it evaporates right away. So you can actually blast it clean pretty quickly, but you're going to need probably three cans per seat. Uh, you can use engine degreaser, soap and water and all the other stuff. It'll just take a lot longer. Uh, and if you do have a 25 year old rig um, and it's an electric seat, make sure you re-grease the worm drives so that your seat will move fluidly, but electric motors do go bad. So unless you change the electric motors on an old seat, you're probably not going to get factory new performance out of it. And that's a whole other uh, thing, but you can change the motors out if you want to. We're not doing that. Mine work fine. We're going to wash the frame, put this together. We'll have reupholstered seats. We'll put them in the rig. We'll see what it looks like. Let's do this. tricky spots. The pins that go into the top of the seat are just high tolerance. They have to be just the right clearance. And I think when I put them in the second time, happened on both seats, I've done two seats. Um, I think those tongs get pinched a little bit and the headrest won't go in. So I very carefully bored them out with a 7 16 inch bit so that, that would slide back in. But now they work perfectly. Now, time to get this thing in the rig. All right, there you go. Coming right up, 30 seconds of footage of the seats in the Land Cruiser. Was it harder than I expected? Not really. I talked to a lot of folks. You guys, hope that was helpful. Hope it helps you with your own vehicle project so you can take that vehicle out into the great outdoors. Until next time, you guys, outfit, explore, and I'll see you on the trail. <laughs>